Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the PNP detected fatal error blue screen you are receiving on your Windows computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So typically this error message is associated when a certain plug and play device is attached and there's some sort of incompatibility or some sort of corrupted driver installed and that's typically the case and that would be throwing you this error message so I'm going to show you guys a couple different potential workarounds first thing I recommend doing would be to actually disconnect all of your USB devices that are not required just to normally operate your computer so like your keyboard and mouse you can keep those plugged in but if you have different flash drives or other devices, I'd recommend removing them. And then seeing if you're still experiencing this blue screen error after removing those peripheral devices. If you're still having a problem, we can go ahead and open up the search menu and type in CMD, best match, should come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on it and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now into this elevated command line window, you want to type in CHK. DSK space forward slash R, hit enter on your keyboard. So it will say that check this cannot run because the volume is in use by another process. Would you like to schedule this volume to be checked the next time the system restarts? Tap the Y key on your keyboard and hit enter. So this volume will be checked the next time the system restarts. Go ahead and close out of here and restart your computer. So do not tap any keys on your keyboard. I'm going to tap a key because I don't want to make this video too long. But just you would let that scan run and it should detect and repair hard drive errors that it finds. And then one further scan I'd like to run here as well. If we open up the search menu and type in CMD, best match, should come back with command prompt, right click on it and then run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now into this elevated command line window, type in SFC, followed by a space, forward slash, scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient. Okay, so once that's done, go ahead and close out of here. And then hopefully your issue should have been resolved at this point, And you should hopefully be able to be good to go. So as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. Do a buzz, it will help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.